Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be unboxing a Eureka crate and it's heavy, so I'm excited to open it up. So if you are new to my channel, I create this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings, which is what we're doing today, to give you organizational ideas, curriculum ideas, and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's get into this video. Okay, so the Eureka crate for this month is a tilt and fold desk. So engineer a portable desk and turn any surface into a place to create. So that sounds really cool. And like I said, it's super heavy. So I'm interested to find out what's heavy in here. So when we open it up, it has a piece of um, tissue paper, whatever that stuff's called. We use it all the time right there. But then we pull out our booklet and it's pretty hefty. But these are our instructions and this looks super cool right there. It'll be interesting to see how big it is because here I assume this is a little notebook they give and stuff and it's not like this huge desk thing, but we'll see. Anyway, so their instructions are all in the beginning usually and then they have some history in the back or some other experiences, some other experiments type things that you can do. So that's a really handy dandy little thing. I just sounded like blues clues there. <laughs> Anyways, and so then we have a whole bunch of pieces in here. So we have a screwdriver, we have a whole bunch of like nuts and bolt type things in here. And then we have some cord and zip ties and maybe some foam in that one. And this tissue paper is driving me crazy because it keeps folding back over the top of everything. Okay, this might just be one big thing, oh, wow. Okay, so we have these wood pieces right here but then all the rest of them are, are all in this one bag so this is everything else and this is why it's so heavy it's just a lot of wood pieces so this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun again i'm excited to see what size it is because from the picture it's really hard to tell so i'm gonna let my son get at it and we will let you know how it goes Okay, so Maze are finished doing the Eureka crate, and this one was really fun, but also challenging. <laughs> so I'll explain it a little bit. So here is the desk. It's all folded up. If I can hold it, it's kind of awkward. So this is what it looks like when it's all folded up. And then you can just pop these legs up. There's these little, they're on bungee cords right here. So I think if we just pull it, <laughs> it'll pop up. And then we can pull this side and it pops up and then you can just set it up. And it's a little table and I just thought this cool. That's very, very cool. And sorry, my kids are screaming. This week has been one of those weeks when they're just in each other's faces all the time. Do you have weeks like that when it's like they get along just fine and then other weeks it's like <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> so you can also rotate it right here. I'll probably insert some footage of us doing that. So you can set it in different places so it can sit flat you can sit it at an angle, you know, you could sit with it like on your lap, on the couch, things like that. And so there's a lot of different ways to put it. And it's just, it's just a really fun, cool idea. And then it has the little ledge here. So if you put, you know, your book or whatever right there, it'll just sit there. And this one, if I can move the book, was just a little bit tricky for my nine year old to do all by himself. I feel like some parts of it require two hands. So even if you're a little bit older, it still might need someone else to just help you hold things together. Some of the tricky parts are back here, trying to move all the pieces in together because he just wants to shove them in. <laughs> and that 
is not always going to work or it might break something and you just kind of have to slowly gently move them until they fit into the grooves they're supposed to be in so that was a little bit hard for him and frustrating and then at the very beginning <laughs> we messed up one of these pieces right here it's like one of the first pieces you put together and so we had to undo a few things <laughs> to, we were towards the end and we had to undo a few things to fix it so that's you know the learning process and the importance i like my kids doing these things because reading instructions is a very important task to learn and sometimes it's really really hard and so being able to go through the instructions and see the pictures and understand what they want you to do i know all instructions are not extremely clear but looking through them and understanding them is very important because then you don't make mistakes like this that mess up everything and you have to go redo a bunch of stuff but i also like the use of the bungee cords right here as you can see that's what flips the legs up and holds them in place and then you can put them back down it's a little harder to put them back down because you have to <laughs> have more hands but you pull the cord again and then you push this and then it slides back in so then they'll fold back down and it's easy to carry around. Obviously it's still a little bit like bulky. I wouldn't recommend carrying it all over the place, but it still gets a little bit smaller. So I like how there's the use of bungee cords. And then in the book, it does talk about like that this is made of plywood. It says you can look at it. So it's kind of interspersed in, interspersed, is that the right word? I don't know in all the booklet pages so they'll work on something then it'll be like oh plywood what's plywood and then it talks about how they're laser cut and then at the back it goes into some more details and talks about things you could do with your design and then it also talks about bungee cords for a little bit which i thought was cool so the science of stretch since they use bungee cords here and how that works and then at the very back it kind of talks about how you can organize your desk and if you wanted to have little USB plugs right here, if you're doing electronics, you can use little clips to put them on the back and stuff like that. Obviously those would be things you'd have from home and not things that they supply you with. But I thought that was really cool. There was only one issue that wasn't really a big issue or anything like that. So it's hard to tell, but where these screws are right here, it's a beveled edge which means it's like inset into the wood so the screw goes beneath the wood so it stays flat through here this one you know the e is up here so it's supposed to be turned this way because there's not an e on the back but these ones the beveled edge they put it on the wrong side so the other side has the inset places for the screws but you can't turn this that way i guess if you didn't want the e here or the kiwico here you could probably switch these pieces but it's not really a problem the screws just sit up a little bit higher and so you know it's just to avoid if you had a riding on something you'd want a flat edge so anyways it's mostly flat though and the screws sit below where this like resting spot would be so i don't think it's a big problem or anything like that but all in all, it was a really cool project. It was fun to see how it all comes together, how the legs pop up, how it can rotate, just all the really cool things. Pretty soon we're gonna have so many big <laughs> Eureka Crate projects, we're gonna have to figure out what to do with all of them. So I'm not sure what my son's gonna do with this. Maybe he'll use it in his bed at night as he's, because he is older and gets to do some activities at night before he goes to sleep. So maybe he'll use it at that time. But it was a fun, good project. It just required a lot more help from me to try to hold everything and to gently push things in instead of <laughs> trying to break all the pieces in half. <laughs> Anyways, so if you enjoy seeing these types of videos, please give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time.